Hi everybody, Susie Cure here and welcome to Cure Aquatics and Exotics. And today I have a couple days off before the weekend, so I'm going to see how much yard work I can get done. I've got so much planned. I know I have more planned than I could possibly get done, but I'm going to give it my best shot. I have to get that water waterfall taken down and another one put up that's not leaking because that pond really needs good filtration. I got to get the skimmer raised. I have to build a retaining wall around my uh, three-tiered water feature because turtles are going to go in there and I got to make sure they can't get out if they get onto the land that they can't get out of that enclosure. I got to fix the tortoises enclosure. I just, there's just so much to do. And it seems like it's all very heavy lifting, laborious, laborious work. So that's okay. So come along with me and check out my backyard beautification. It's not even beautification as much because I'm not planting flowers yet and this and that. I'm just trying to get it in working order so that I can get to the next step to beautify. So this is starting by tearing down my old waterfall, but I couldn't get it started because of the uh, expandable foam that I used. So Kyle helped me get it started by breaking through that initial layer of silicone glue and expanded foam which really helped me get started. I was ripping it apart, pulling apart all the rocks and categorizing the rocks. I had the smaller... I'm too old for the sh <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean, right? I put the round rocks on one part, uh, the flat rocks on another part. I pile, I'm piling up the cinder blocks as I go because I want to repurpose all these and I know I'm going to need a lot of these rocks for the new waterfall. Uh, I'm planning on using that other, another waterfall that I had picked up. It's much smaller. It's going to be lower to the ground. If I could only get this taken apart. I didn't want to ask for help again, so I, you know, just, but I didn't want to get hurt either. <laughs> yet but I got my hair back because it was getting in my face and all those ants were freaking me out. You see how much more I can get it's supposed to rain but right now the sun came out so wish me luck. You can see all these bricks that I gotten so far and all those stone and there's my pump or there's my waterfall sorry that's my waterfall. I might even use these as my retaining wall now that I don't need them here. I have a whole layer of bricks still there and I'm going to keep them there because I think if I can level them that would be perfect. So let me show you where I thought it might have leaked. I had a patch, the liner when I was making the waterfall, 
Here's the one liner and here's the patch. And the patch is not what's leaking. Huh. But all it takes is a little hole somewhere. Hey. Well, I'm not going to waste my time trying to figure out why it was leaking as opposed to let's just fix it. Just took off the face plate. I'm going to dry it because I'm going to put some silicone between the liner and the face plate. And this where I want it. Now, I just spent the last 45 minutes looking for my leveler. Could not find it. So I'm done looking. So what I'm going to try to do is make it as level as I possibly can just by the eyesight. Move over my other smaller filter, my uh, other smaller waterfall. Try to see if I can set it up and get it so it, it kind of looks level. And then as I'm attaching the liner, I, oh yeah, I got, as I'm attaching the liner, I got to make sure there's no dust, no debris. There's nothing because as I silicone it on, I need it to be, I, I need it to have a really good seal. And uh, it did have one the first time, but I did not put silicone on it, so that might be. As I'm lining up the liner, you got to make sure there's a lot of wiggle room. You don't want it to be taut. You don't want it to be super tight. You want to make sure there's room to move it around. So as I'm measuring it, somehow or another, i got to clamp it on. Start off with some, like, i got to pre-drill some holes in the liner to make sure that I've got it all lined up. And let me tell you, I'm struggling really hard in this position with the drill. Like I can't see what I'm doing. It's not front facing, but I, <laughs> I think I'd like to do things the hard way. I'm not so sure about that, but I went ahead and, and put pre-drilled all those little holes in with a, with a nail. Then I put in the two end screws just to hold the liner in place while I was doing everything. Get my silicone. I think it's right about here where I realize I probably don't have enough silicone. And as I'm putting it on, I run out. Now I'm not very well versed with silicone. I've only used it once before making my enclosure. Needless to say, I dropped a couple F-bombs. So I did silicone the liner to the actual waterfall. But then when I was putting the faceplate on, I didn't have a layer of silicone on the outside of the, the liner. So I'm hoping everything will go well. Um, my intention was to go out and get more silicone, but I didn't. So now as I'm putting it on, I'm, I'm trying to screw all the screws in. And I just, it's an awkward position for somebody who's out of shape, overweight. <laughs> I think it was just like, ah, uh, I couldn't do it. So I had to change to my pond clothes and go in the water. I didn't mind because it was giving me a lot better footing. So I could actually drill until I almost fall in. Watch this slow motion. Yeah. Oh, I'm just so glad I didn't actually fall in. Uh, thinking good save of course another f-bomb was dropped right about there hence the voiceover <laughs> so I just finished up putting the screws in the face plate and time to watch the paint dry and without the leveler I'm gonna just have to fill up with water and as I see that it's not level, fix it accordingly. I don't know what else to do without, without a level. So now I'm going to let the silicone dry. Well, it's raining, so maybe not. <laughs> okay, I'm exhausted. Got the net back up. Got a waterfall there. It's not completed. I don't know if it's what I'm looking for but now I got to fix the uh, skimmer. I got to raise the skimmer up about four inches or five inches. So, so I got the waterfall. So now I got to get some boulders for the side and what. And then all those 
cinder block that were over here. I started building a retention wall for my ponds. Oh my gosh, this was so hard. So I'm exhausted right now. I got the... And the weekend hasn't even started, so that's pretty cool. I am exhausted. I moved those cinder blocks over and started a retaining wall. I fixed the tortoise, tortoise enclosure so that they had a better end so they can't get out. I moved the filter over to the side, so I haven't finished with the waterfall yet. I still need boulders on the sides, but I'm exhausted. My arms feel like rubber. I think I'm gonna have a cup of coffee and just sit down. So, I want to say this is what I got done this weekend, but I'm actually done and it's still Friday, so maybe I'll do nothing all weekend. Woohoo! <laughs> so thanks for checking out my progress in my backyard and I will see you later.